all the things I expected to see on Harvard's campus, giant wild turkeys was not one of them. Three twenty-three in the morning. We're uh, getting ready to head to the airport. We're going to Boston today. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. It takes a backwash. One of Kylie's uh, best friends lives in Boston, or the Boston area, and is getting married this weekend, which is why we're going there. We got up early so we could try to maximize the amount of Boston time we get. Do you regret that decision? See. <laughs> I'm so tired. All right, let's uh, let's get to Boston. In the captain's clothes, tin horns blowing with my jewelry froze. Getting ready to leave soon. My goal is to sleep the whole flight. I'm so tired. I can't believe my way back when my Cadillac pants growing much too fast. Karaoke weekend at the suicide shack. Community service and I'm still the Mac. Shock of my finger. In my hand, I've been spreading disease all across the land. Beautiful air condition, sitting in the kitchen, wishing I was living like a hit man. Single coldest, most uncomfortable flight I've ever been on in my entire life. <laughs> my nipples are. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> but we're in Boston. Now I gotta figure out how to get to this weird car rental we got. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, bud. So, we got our rental car. We're using this app called Kite. I've never used it before. All of the car rental spots that we were trying to get were really expensive. It was like 700 bucks because we waited way too long to rent a car. And uh, Kite was 150 total for, for the weekend. Yeah, for three days Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, I guess. Uh, and they, K I T E. K Y T E. And they bring the car, there's like drop off points and they bring the car to you. So I told them that we're, uh, we picked a Fenway location. So yeah, which by the way, that's what we got going on. That's what we got going on here. So yeah, we got the car. You just, some dude brings it here. You did do a digital signature on the phone. You get the keys. He checks your driver's license, make sure you're not a liar and uh, ready to roll. All right, let's pop in the car and I'll tell you where we're going first. Oh, whoa, this guy's sitting low. First things first, we're hungry. We haven't ate yet. It's like, what, 11, noon, somewhere around there? No, it's like 10. 11. Oh, 11, yeah, yeah time change. Okay, so the Toledo style pizza that I've been bragging about on number six with cheese for, for years, that's actually Boston South Shore style pizza. So if I'm in the homeland of my homeland's pizza, then I gotta go get it. So we're gonna go to a place, it's like, 30 minutes away, it's the best looking one that was open. I just, you know me, I love me some food. I, I just gotta, I gotta give it a shot. And then we're gonna get uh, get to checking out Boston. But we did already get to see Fenway, so that's pretty cool. Off to a strong start. Yeah, let's cruise. So we are in Medford. It's like a 30 minute drive from Boston, from like the down from Fenway-ish area. We're going to a place called Pizza For All to try some South Shore bar pizza. My favorite style in the world. Let's go get it. Quick correction, it's called Four Pizza, not Pizza For All. I'm an idiot. <laughs> sticks with it. Mm. No joke, some of the better matchsticks I've ever had. 
Sweet. Thanks, dude. Oh, Appreciate you. Cool little stamp on the box, too. Handsome fella. Yeah, we'll check that guy out. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thrown it all over the pizza for sure. Crazy. Oh my god. Holy shit. Doesn't that look so good? Yeah, you know I've been obsessed with red peppers lately. So, this is a twofer, right? It's barbecue yeah. jerk and pepperoni. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. The barbecue I'm jerk's not even on the menu. Stoked for this. I was going to say, any dog, I guess I'm tired, but he's working. This is reminding me of home, guys. Well, the pepperoni's amazing. This is the off menu suggested by the owner, the barbecue jerk. Everything made in house. Oh, that. Mm hmm. Oh, this is so good. How's it tasting? Amazing. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, it's so good. Last bite. Holy crap. Going to settle up? Yeah. Hi, right, brother. Thank you. Very much. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> That was un unbelievable is exactly how I imagined it. It's just very, it's, it's what I grew up with. And that Aaron dude was awesome. Four pizza, hit it up. It's in Medford. Look it up. It's so good. So worth checking out. But now we're going to go hit up a dispensary because why not? Then we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to Harvard. I love universities. I don't know why I like walking around campuses. They're always beautiful. It's like walking around a park with smart people and cool architecture. Two of my favorite things in the world, parks and architecture. Let's go. If I burn my youth, would it come to me? Oh, love, won't you bite my eye? I miss the sweet garden men, baffle a skeleton dry. All they wanted was a villain, a villain, and all they had was me. All they wanted was a villain, a villain, so then they just took me. Yeah, this is just a pretty campus. I like this. This is like the main square, I guess, we're at. Right back there is the statue of John Harvard. Also, this this predates America, this college. Can I tell him what I did? 1636, what'd you do? Oh, yeah, what'd you do? You want to tell him? I don't even know what this story is, by the way. <laughs> I have a cropped top oh God, t-shirt on go. underneath my sweatshirt, and I got cold, so I was going to put my sweatshirt on, and I went to lean down, and when I came back up, Everything was up, so like, good thing I had a bra on. But like, within the first two minutes of being on Harvard's campus, I show exactly how trashy I am. <laughs> this, this, she's gonna get booted off this place in no time. Like that was pretty fucking funny. Though. That was funny. <laughs> Well, we're, that's basically the, we just want to do a quick little little circle around the campus. Now we're gonna head to uh, now we're gonna head to I think the Freedom Trail. Get that knocked off the bucket list. All right, let's cruise. All right, we're about to go hit up the Freedom Trail. Check out some history. Now here's a little story I got to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. It started way back. In history. All right, guys, we're starting off the Freedom Trail with Boston Common. Apparently, America's oldest park. If that isn't cool, then I don't know what is. Look, I'm gonna make these pretty quick because there's about 28 things on this damn trail. So that's it, snappy. Boston Common, oldest park, Freedom Trail. Let's get to the next thing. All right, couple of things. One, we're in a graveyard. I usually wouldn't vlog in a graveyard when other people are around because it feels disrespectful, but there are tour guides that are just yammering on about, so I feel like this is, I mean, this place is filled with tourists. I think it's kind of okay. Two, the second thing I want to tell you guys, I instantly decided I'm not showing you guys everything on the Freedom Trail. There's too much, and a lot of it's okay. I'm just gonna show B-roll of the stuff that is like cool to see visually, and then the stuff that I think is really cool that I want to talk about, like this, I will come in and jump in and talk to you guys about. So, why do I like this place? Well, I just think graveyards that are this, like, dude, this guy right here, right there, 1783 he was buried. Paul Revere's in this graveyard. That is crazy. So, I don't know, pretty interesting stuff to me. Let's check out some of these headstones and how incredibly old they are. Nuts. One lonely beast. 
This is John Hancock's grave. It's so old you can't read it, so they put a memorial up right there. This is this is crazy. The big monument, you'd think that's Paul Revere. That's uh, Ben Franklin's parents. Paul Revere's tomb right there. All right, we're gonna cruise out of here now? Yeah, I need a drink. All right, we're going to the bar. All this death is making us thirsty for some brews. Let's go find a pub. The sun is beating down on my baseball hat. The air is getting hot, the beer is getting flat. Looking for a girl, I ran into a guy. His name is MCA. I said howdy, he said hi. Got me a Miller Lite, it's tasty. Also, this place is, this place is cool. It's called Bean Down. My favorite bars all just are nice wood bars, like nice ornate wood. Yeah. Everywhere. Not See, I want it. I like. Dumping. I know, but this but is for our her, this for is her, our middle man. This yeah. is the middle ground. Yeah, yeah. This is our compromise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like. It. It's I nice. do like this. Yeah. All right, guys, back you know to the trail, finishing up the beer. Right here is the first ever public school. Also something I forgot to tell you guys, because I'm kind of a degenerate, I've been trying to smoke this pen at different historical locations. So far I've gotten Harvard, John Hancock's, Graves, and now, in honor of all the students who are in DARE, first public school. So that right there, that's an old prominent bookstore that now is slinging Chipotle. <laughs> Makes me sick to my stomach, dude. Uh, I had to get that in because you guys know I'm a bookstore guy, so. Uh, yeah, all right, next one. The brew is in my hand, and he was on my tip. His voice was hoarse, his throat was dry, he asked me for a sip. This is the old State House, which is on the Freedom Trail, which is also where the Boston Massacre happened, right over there. Kind of the start-ish of the Revolutionary War. And now this is a train line. I don't know, I think that's like kind of interesting. It's a fascinating use of an old building. Turn, just turn it into the train. <laughs> Love it. Just realizing that the trail is actually laid out in brick. Took, took a few minutes to figure that one out. It's kind of cool. You said, can I get some? I said, you can't get none. I had a chance to run and I pulled out a shotgun. Quick on the draw, I thought I'd be dead. He put the gun to my head and this is what he said. Now my name is MCA, I got a license to kill. I think you know what time it is, it's time to get ill. Yeah. This Paul Revere Mall might be my favorite little area. This is so cool. It's... I'm like, look at the little event where you can like live right here. Yeah, they got these like apartments. Remember? This little you know hangout mall. Remember in... A little bit. It reminds me of... Remember on our honeymoon in New York when we went to Lady Gaga's restaurant and literally... Oh yeah. The, ba the back of the restaurant was like a parking lot, but it was... She just had like secluded, a secluded with a lot of bricks. It. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, this is... This is, this is cute. Outside. And uh, yeah, let's yeah. keep going on the trail. Another thing that gets me going, giant monuments. I don't know, <laughs> just, it's a testament to human ingenuity to build something that freaking big. And I love it. Now where are we going? We're going to like... The harbor area, I think. The harbor area. I'm just... Get saying. ourselves by some water. Yeah, it's all water surrounded for sure. We're going to Charleston, Charlestown Navy Yard. Let's go, let's go check the water scene out. All right, guys, here's the deal. We gotta pee, so when you gotta pee and you need to use the bathroom, there's only one move you can make. Go hit a bar up and grab yourself a beer and use the facilities. If that makes me an alcoholic, then, then so be it. Some Subscribe. people go to McDonald's. Some, yep. we, go to the, we go find the closest bar. That's true. <laughs> All right, let's get a drink at this. The Anchor. It is loud. It looks loud and douchey, but so be it. They got beers. In my life, I've been about as far as I climb. This is a cool, this is a cool hangout zone. Oh yeah, also I got Bentwater Premium Lager. But I'm gonna wake you up, gonna break you out, gonna 
last year, y'all Gonna save you now Gonna try, gonna fight, gonna forget how You guys, I've been forgetting to do this so much. Let me do a couple shout outs for people who've been donating to the channel while we drink these beers. <laughs> this feels like the perfect time. Just some of the regulars. You guys already know these names. Derek Boudreaux donated two bucks. Larry Gonzalez donated five bucks. And Quentin Nelson dropped in like 50 bucks to me. And I've got a few more in the barrel, but I'm gonna save those for the next video because I didn't write those down before this trip. So thank you to those three people. Huge, huge support. I mean, it just, you guys have no idea how much that helps. And if you guys wanna donate, you can do the super thanks on videos. My videos are a little funky about it because I use copyrighted music, so sometimes they're not eligible for super thanks. So you gotta like, I don't know, go on an old video and do it. That's what Derek Pedro does, because he's a G. Or you can just send me PayPal or uh, Venmo. I got those both down in the description. I'll have them pinned in a comment too. So thank you guys. Uh, back to these beers though, huh? finish this beer we're gonna cruise hopefully catch these last few things on the freedom trail and then go grab some dinner so all right let's cruise to the next spots real quick just to reiterate that place is awesome I was a little judgy out of the gates there because of that music but it looked touristy yeah it looked touristy it looked like it was kind of not and it might be on a Saturday but tonight it's fine <laughs> tonight it was sick it's a Thursday <laughs> dogs water beer and hanging out all right let's check out these last few spots here we go we're in the area where it's the last few things. There's like big military ships. It's kind of just the shipyard. But that's it. This is the Freedom Trail. But uh, now we're gonna go grab some food. A little more, a little more Boston to do. Let's go find a really good dinner. Feast it up. All right, guys. Switching to the less obtrusive camera. We think we're in for a treat on this one. So here's what happened. Basically, we went downtown and the parking was insane. We were staying is like an hour, hour and a half outside of downtown so we're like well let's just start driving that way just once we get outside of downtown a little bit let's just google bar food and we're going to this place called winners and we drove past it this place looks like my type of spot <laughs> this is gonna be great these nachos are fire Finishing up these beers, and we're gonna cruise out of here. I'll tell you, tell you more about this place. Close this thing out, guys. That place is awesome. I don't know if you guys do this, but I'm trying to go and like get more of the neighborhood vibe, and that was the spot, and I loved it. And uh, that's Boston for it. I would do another vlog tomorrow, but we got wedding stuff to do, so so this is it. And then I, I guess I'll just see you guys at the next one. Don't forget, like, subscribe if you can. Peace.